many of them, of all of the universes, are like our universes where life is possible and intelligent life is possible, and how many of them are, and how come we're in ours? Are we in ours because we just are here at the end result of a set of circumstances, or are we in ours because somehow our universe expected us? <laughs> well, I mean, one way of thinking about this that comes out of these pictures, I mean, if you have, you know, Andre's image of all the different universes with the different colors, if we can only exist in a red universe, then if you ask yourself, why are we in a red universe, we're there because we can live there. I mean, this is a kind of reasoning that we accept in other circumstances. You know, if I said to you, why do we live on the surface of a planet, why don't we live in interstellar space? The answer is pretty clear. We couldn't survive in interstellar space. We're on a planet where the conditions are hospitable to life as we know it, and that's why we're here. Similarly, why are we in this universe? Well, we're here because we simply can't exist in the other ones. And this may feel somewhat circular, tautological, but what gives this power is when you really start to realize that if that picture is true and there really are these other universes out there, it's not just mathematics, it's real, then of course we're going to be in the one that we can live in. And that is a reasonable explanation if indeed this picture is correct.